produce feeds. Mm -hmm. um, this is a 900 square metre um, rapid prototyping or 3D printing facility. Okay. So we aim to combine research, engineering, and design. Um, the faculty, the facility was officially opened in March this year, but it's actually been operating. Yeah. Just in March. Just in March. Uh, yes. Abril New. Marzo. Mm. O sea que es muy nuevo todo. Yes. But uh, it's actually been operating uh, for about two years. Okay. okay. So we had our uh, official opening, but um, uh -huh. been here for a little while. Okay. So there's three main um, parts to this facility. We have this part that we're standing in right now, which is the collaborative uh, working space. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of student groups use this area. We've got an autonomous car student club and they use this area, also the Rocket Society. Um, and we also have high school students. Uh, high school? Yeah, that come to UTS as part of a, high, um, a university experience. Acá dice que es lugar para los chicos, tanto estudiantes como gente de secundario que vienen a hacer trabajo colaborativo acá a investigar. Está abierto para estudiantes. It's an open lab, not open. No, so students would need to be having a class in here. Do you use this space? They can't just walk in. But it's an open lab. Yeah, it's open. 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 Yeah, it's uh, open, open to, to the, the community, government. to the ah, to yeah. projects, uh, uh, social projects. Yes, I mean, it, we would need to, the collaboration would need to happen with a member of staff. So yeah. someone so from approach. UTS would have to bring them in. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a, it's called a technology transfer unit. It's called Rapido. I'm not sure if you heard mm -hmm. about it today, Rapido. Mm -hmm. So um, that unit works with for example, members of the public or industry to join them with okay. this space, space to see um, yeah, if there's some technology they can use mm -hmm. uh, in the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm.